Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Sled Tech. We've got a particularly fast sled in the shop today, our factory 600 cross country race sled. So this is our 2024 600 Indy cross country. This is our factory edition cross country race sled, available only to our racers through our race team. Uh, but it's extremely similar to a Matrix Indy XCR. And the Cross Country and the XCR are really a pair. We developed them together on the Matrix platform, launched them together a couple of years ago, and the Cross Country is really the, the development exercise to build XCR. There is no XCR without the Cross Country first. We go racing to develop new technology and make a better snowmobile. We, we like winning too. We love beating the yellow and green guys when we're out developing new technology, but the chief goal is develop new technology, make sure it works. Racing is a chance to give our most talented snowmobilers pushing our new technology in the harshest conditions they can find. Uh, so when we went to do the, the Matrix Indy Cross Country and the next generation of cross country race sleds, the XCR was right there being developed together to make sure our riders who are pushing their trail sleds the hardest, want to go ride the ditches fast and hard and ride through the rough terrain, have the best snowmobile they can. Um, and the, the latest 2024 cross country is a, a good example of how we're continuing to push that technology forward, keep pushing the performance of these high performance trail sleds, uh, and potentially bring a, the new stuff to XCR as well. So like I said, it's our, our 24 Indy cross country, and it's extremely similar to an Indy XCR. They both ride on the Matrix platform, same suspension geometry, same chassis, same, same bulkhead, fuel tank, body work, all, all of that is the same. Um, the, the pieces on the cross country that are identical to the XCR are a lot of the XCR specific upgrades we talk about. So the heavy duty handlebars, the, the race braking system, um, some of the rail beams and suspension upgrades, the high and low speed two inch Walker Evans velocity shocks, all of those big time cross country parts are right on the XCR and something the customer can snow check. All of those parts have been proven on the racetrack. They've gone out, won cross country races, won the Iron Dog, uh, and proven that they're durable enough and high performance enough to go ride through the ditch obscenely fast. So under the hood of the Indy Cross Country is a 600. So the XCR has got the 650 and 850 Patriot platform engines. Uh, purely due to the racing rules from ISR for cross country sleds, we got to race the 600. So under the hood is a 600 clean fire uh, that we had on the Axis platform. It's got a few upgraded goodies to it, a uh, light, little bit lighter weight crank uh, and some other uh, upgrades for the racetrack. Uh, but on the XCR, it's 650 and 850 Patriot engines uh, available. So the cross country has uh, our heavy duty front suspension and the geometry is the exact same. The front suspension that's on every trail sled, every Indy, every switchback uh, that we sell is what we call our race IFS. The geometry and the uh, suspension design came right from the race course years ago and has continued to prove itself on our trail sleds and on our crossover sleds. The cross country race team, they are riding very fast and very rough terrain beyond what uh, the, the XCR will see in the hands of our riders. So it does feature a race ready, heavy duty uh, suspension design. So beefier control arms, beefier spindle, uh, more durability, especially for really long races like the Iron Dog where it's thousands of miles of abuse. Uh, but the same geometry and design that, uh, that our riders ride on the XCR and continues to, to prove itself on the track. The shocks are a Walker Evans two inch velocity. So a two inch body, a, a bigger shock like you get on the XCR, you get a two inch shock as well. These do have a, a cross country specific calibration in them. Again, similar to just the demands of what our racers are doing. It's a, another step beyond what uh, a trail XCR customer is looking for. So a, a race ready uh, calibration, but a lot of very similar design and hardware, high low speed compression, uh, velocity, position sensitivity, just like our XCR gets in Snowcheck. Out the back here in the cross country is the Pro CC rear suspension, originally launched back in 2019 in the Indy XC. Uh, built on the racetrack in the years prior to that, uh, developed through our snowcross sled and then some cross country sleds we had built. And the Pro CC that we see here in the back of the cross country is nearly identical to the Indy XCR uh, that's available in Snowcheck. Really the only big key difference is uh, the four wheel rear axle uh, with solid wheels. So just a durability upgrade for that really big, uh, really harsh use case, something like the Iron Dog that we talked about a little earlier. The other cool piece in the, in the rear of just the cross country for 2024 is our new, what we call our long tail torsion spring. So 
The torsion spring mount has been moved in front of the rear mount of the front torque arm, and then it's a longer torsion spring all the way across. And what we're trying to accomplish is a, a wider ride range for our racers. So when you think about cross country racing, the demands of what they're asking out of their suspension in a terrain race is kind of mind blowing when you think about it. They're hitting huge approaches and, and jumps at 100 plus miles an hour. So I think big snow cross like landings as well as really tight handling in tight ditches or tight rivers. And they really need a wider range of suspension ride compliance when they're going fast. The other piece is when they're flying over approaches, landing flat is really important to keeping the speed going. Uh, it might be kind of cool and flashy to land in a wheelie and then slam that thing down and keep riding. But when you do that, you're losing speed. Uh, and a cross country race is all about going fast. So what the long tail suspension does is it provides as, as the rider is jumping and then steering when they're on the throttle. So when they're pushing that snowmobile up and, and driving it up uh, using the throttle, it helps push it back down. And how it does that is it moves that torsion spring mount in front of the rear tor or the front torque arm. So as it compresses, it starts to involve the front torque arm earlier and really helps the vehicle land flat on big jumps. And then when you're coming through a corner really hard on the throttle, it helps keep that front end planted and drive it right out of the corner. And that's really it. Like those are the differences. Um, when we say that the XCR is race ready, we mean it. We've used the cross country sled to develop new technology, continuing to push it with the long tail rear suspension, but otherwise it's almost exactly what you can snow check. If you're looking to attack that super harsh terrain and do your best Taylor Bunky impression out in the ditches. The XCR is the ultimate snowmobile and it's proven through the cross country. Proven durable, super high performance out there winning races and you can snow check one. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this episode of Sled Tech. Make sure you catch Team Polaris out there winning races in the ditches and on the lakes this winter aboard our 2024 cross country and we'll see you next time.